everyone, Helen here. Thanks for coming to join me. And I'm just popping in for a, a fairly short one this week. I know I'm always saying that, but it really is sh shortish this week. <laughs> um, I was going to share my Christmas in July projects with you this week, but I thought, well, actually next week's podcast will go out on the 1st of August, which means it's given me, it will have given me all of July to do all of my Christmas in July makes. So I'm going to share those with you next time. And this week I am, oh, I don't think there's any crafting in it really, apart from you might get a quick glimpse of me working on my crochet camper van blanket, because today's podcast is just a little trip in the camper van. And if you've, if you've joined me on my channel, even just in the last few weeks, you will know that um, we've recently, very excitingly, bought a camper van, something that we've wanted for quite a while. <laughs> but we've just had a few day trips, and, and but now we've had our first overnight trip. Very exciting. We went all of um, 20 miles away. <laughs> Wasn't very far. But we just wanted to try everything out, see, you know, see if we'd got all the equipment and things that we, we might want. And so, yeah, we didn't want to go too far. But actually, we went to an area just on the border of County Durham, where I live, and Northumberland, which, where we'd never been before, we'd never explored it. And it's where there's a, a big reservoir. Uh, it's a reservoir that's about four miles, nearly four miles long, called Derwent Reservoir. And we just had never been there at all. So it was really nice to, to go to a new area. And I don't know about you, but you don't always have to go far from home to feel away and having a break. So it's really really nice. So I took quite a few bits of video of, of the whole experience. So what I'm going to show you today uh, is first of all it's kind of four separate little videos all, all stuck together. The first one is just a little bit of the journey. Uh, the second one is of cooking our evening meal and I thought that, I mean, this it might be a meal that you've done tons of times before, but in case you haven't, and if you, especially if you go away in a camper van or caravan or tent, then it's really, really great to have some nice um, one pot recipes so you haven't got loads and loads of washing up to do afterwards. So this is one of them. So I'm going to show you how I made our evening meal. And also before we went, uh, I baked some scones, so we took jam and cream with us, so you'll see those popping in as well. And um, Well, I didn't bake them in the camper van, I just wanted to say that, but we took them with us. And yeah, so we're going to see the evening meal. Then we went on a lovely evening walk along by the reservoir. Uh, unfortunately, the sun disappeared at that point, but you know, it was still nice. Nice to be out, found some interesting things. And I'm going to finish off with the last thing we did before we went to bed, which was to just make our nighttime drinks outside. And instead of using the stove in the camper van, uh, we decided to use, well, uh, Phil decided that we would use his bit of equipment called a Kelly kettle. So I don't know if you've come across those before. Um, I'd never heard of one until he asked for one one Christmas. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to show you how we use the Kelly kettle to boil the water for our drinks which, I don't know, it might not sound very exciting. I was very excited about it. <laughs> and we thought it was quite good um, that, you know, we were conserving the gas that was in the uh, camper van and just using this Kelly kettle to boil our water. So, yes, yeah, so that's what I'm going to show you today. And I'll pop in at the end just to say goodbye. OK, so off we go on our little camper van trip.
Right, well, I hope you enjoyed coming with us on our first overnight trip and I hope I'll have many more adventures to share with you. And so next week I will be back, definitely will be back with um, with all of the things that I've been knitting and crocheting. I don't think I've sewn anything, yeah. Oh, actually, there's a little bit of sewing involved, but anyway, all the things I've been doing for the Christmas in July make-along, or I don't even know if it's a make-along, actually, but, you know, the thing that lots of us have been doing and sharing photos on Instagram. And in fact, if you follow me on Instagram, which my Instagram name is at MousyMakesPod, and as opposed to my YouTube channel, which is Mousy makes. Um, <laughs> uh, then, then you will have seen a few of the things I've been making, but I can talk about them a bit more when when you watch on YouTube. And not everybody uh, follows me on Instagram either, so it's uh, I just like to share everything, don't, not assuming that you've seen any photos already. So yeah, right. I think that's all. I'm not going to chatter on any more for today. And I w hope you have a lovely week until I see you again. Take care of yourself. Keep nice and busy and I'll see you soon. Okay then, bye.